This BMC Atrium Orchestrator video covers compensation and error handling. It will help you understand how to use compensation and properly finish the execution of a workflow. At this point we want to consider how the Atrium Orchestrator infrastructure impacts the execution of workflow. If any of the components that HM Orchestrator depends on um, is affected in a negative way, may it be the server infrastructure, the network, uh, or other components that make up HM Orchestrator, workflow execution will fail and we talk about compensation at this point. But would compensation be a proper way to finish off a workflow just because the data that we expect from the database is not in the format that we like? or if we interact with Remedy and we have a communication to the application server but the data is not in the format that we expect, well compensation would be the wrong way to go about this. We're going to analyze now adapter requests and adapter responses in the next few minutes to see how we can properly exit and finish a workflow and at what point in time our compensation would kick in. If you were to apply such a concept of dividing zero by zero to force the compensation of a workflow just to finish without further um, due diligence, that would be the wrong course of action. Appropriately, we would evaluate the data, the adapter requests, the adapter responses, the availability of adapters, and then make an educated decision using the switch statement how we want to exit the workflow appropriately. In order to enable compensation on a workflow level, right mouse click into the workflow and select compensation. At this point you can drag and drop additional workflows that you wish that you wish to execute when compensation takes place. You can also apply compensation on a workflow that you imported, right mouse click on the workflow and click compensation and you can assign different levels or different activities in that compensation. This applies to activities within your workflow as well. Right mouse click on that activity and then click on compensation and as you can see here you can now drag and drop any activities or any predefined workflow that you would like to execute when compensation takes place. As we mentioned earlier, compensation should be used when there is a problem with the infrastructure, not if there is a problem with the data that you received. Now let's switch over to the low-level adapter calls and see on how we can handle errors better. As you can see here, the adapter call is being executed and here we have an assigned statement that computes the status of the response. We analyze the adapter response, double-click on it and open up the advanced editor. At this point, it is sufficient to just execute an XPath statement. As you can see here, with any adapter response that we receive, we have the name of the technology that is involved and in the metadata section, the status of the overall execution, which was successful. This indicates that the HM Orchestrator infrastructure was working properly. This is our first status. Now let's switch to the second one where we look at the system. If we open this up, you see now we go one level deeper where we look at the target and the connection to that target, which was successful. The appropriate XPath expression is shown here in the bottom. We're getting closer to our analysis of the data and at this time we look at the command that was actually executed on the target system and again we drill down into the adapter response and we see here that we also have for the command that was executed proper metadata. In this case it tells us that the API call was successful and the exit code of that API was zero. If the status was in failed or error, the exit code would indicate the error code of the API. By using this analysis on adapter response level, we can control the execution of the workflow 
and handle the errors properly. Now that we have analyzed the adapter response and assigned it to individual context item, we can now use a switch statement to invoke appropriate recovery action or error handling. As you can see here for the overall status, for the system status and for the command. Depending on the use case, you might want to add additional error handling based on the data that you return to make sure that the data is in a proper format. HM Orchestrator cannot handle it on that level because we don't know what you consider good data and what bad.